Hey Howard, January 8th is World Typing Day. Do we have anything for that here in the shop? Well, the Linotype has a keyboard, but that's not a typewriter keyboard. That's uh, exclusive to the, to the Linotype machine. Setting type is kind of like working a typewriter. Uh, you know, when you, when you learn to, to touch type, I'm more a hunt and peck man myself, but uh, when you learn to touch type, you, you just know the hand position. And the type case is very similar to that. This is a, uh, a California job case. If this were in a publishing business, uh, like a newspaper or book publisher, something like that, uh, there would actually be two cases. Uh, this one would be expanded out to full width. This one, because of the capitals or uppercase letters, would actually be in a position up above. But that was one of the things that the California case was good for, for people that weren't publishing, that were just doing a kind of random business. It combined everything in one case. Uh, I've learned what's called the lay of the case. Capitals run here. Uh, they run almost alphabetically with the exception of the J and the U. And that's because the first typesetters were setting in Latin. Latin doesn't have a J or a U, and the typesetters were very stubborn and say, we're not going to move everything around just to accommodate that. We'll put them at the end. I've got a diagram here that will show what I'm talking about. You see the, that just runs capitals till the J and the U. The small letters are lowercase. The most uh, used letter in our language is the E, so it gets the biggest box. When you get down to lesser used letters like the J or the K, they're parked up out of the way. Uh, the most centrally used are located central, you know, very handy so that as I'm setting tight, I don't have to even think about it. I just, you know, just do it. Uh, one of the tricks that you need to learn, and I hope this type's kind of dark, there's a what we call the nick, or a little uh, notch there. When I'm setting type, that has to be up in the case. My thumb follows along there, but that's more into typesetting than what we're talking about. So it, it just, it's very easy once you memorize, because Certain letters, like here, the B, C, D, E, they, that, that runs across here, that's, that's easy to remember. The I and the S, but the F, G follows. Down here, L, M, N follows the alphabet. One of the ones that doesn't is one that uh, I was just taught you just have to memorize, and that's the O, Y, P, W across here. And down here is the, the V, the U, and the T, and the A and the R. Numbers are up here. Points are here. Points would be punctuation marks, you know. Period, the comma's up here. Then it's semicolon, colon, hyphen. Apostrophe is up here. So it's, it's not that hard to do, and, and when you work with it, and even if the case is laid out a little bit differently than this, they still follow in that order. So it's, it's essentially like typing with your hands.